I'm Jeb Burnside reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer Magazine. If you're like me, you're probably going to go to a couple of air shows this season. And if you're like me, you're probably going to forget your tie downs. And what you'll end up doing is buying something like this, a doggy auger. We wanted to see if these things are really any good. So we've set up a test rig and we've gotten some commercial tie down products. What we're going to do is see how much force it takes to pull these out of the ground. Here we have two types of doggy augers, the spiral kind and the flat plate kind. These are fairly easy to find at hardware stores, home supply stores. They're, they're relatively inexpensive and in many cases you might get by. We found one problem right off though in torquing down the spiral doggy auger, the top snapped right off. The commercial products all basically use the same principle a three-point anchor using pins like these. We have the claw which spreads out and the pins are hammered through each end. We also have fly ties which uses this Delrin hub to hammer through the three stakes. On the far end we have the tie-down kit from Deal Associates that uses an angled piece of aluminum as its anchor. For our testing, we use this mechanical dynamometer, which is really nothing more than a big fish scale. We chained it to this engine lift and tried to figure out how much force these anchors could withstand. For our first test, we tried the spiral steel doggy auger. If you can avoid snapping the head off, it goes into the ground easily. As you can see, it did a reasonable job of resisting the load up to about 575 pounds. It might do better in compacted soil, but worse in wet soil. Unfortunately, the kind of load deformed the head, but it didn't break. In our loamy Florida soil, the claw didn't do quite as well, resisting about 325 pounds. We tried the same test in California soil, and the claw did twice as well, resisting 650 pounds. In the hardest of soils, any of the pin type commercial products are easier to install than the augers. Like the claw, the Deal Associates tie down has three pins driven in at divergent angles. Theoretically, this spreads the load across a wider soil area. But as you can see here, the soil still yields to direct pulling and the pins eventually extract. Our test yielded about 300 pounds. Last, the fly ties with the Delrin center hub. This performs similarly to the Deal Associates product, but rather than pulling straight out, it had a tendency to rotate slightly as the load was applied. When we tried to pull at an angle rather than straight up, the fly ties did better. Here are some final thoughts. So what did we learn from all our testing? The main thing we learned is that the tie down's ability to withstand a load is highly dependent on the soil. Here in South Florida, this doggy auger did fine, and for light duty use, we would continue to use it. In South California soil, the claw did much better than here in South Florida. The great thing about these kits, though, is that they are kits. They come complete with rope, with wheel chocks, and in the case of the claw, even a hammer. But what's the bottom line? The bottom line from the FAA is that a tie down should be able to withstand up to 65 knots of wind. That translates to 3,000 pounds of load for a single and 4,000 pounds for a twin. None of these kits, none of these anchors will be able to do that on open ground. If you're expecting a big blow, get the airplane to a paved tie down or put it in a hangar. I'm Jeb Burnside reporting for Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.